The ancient city of Teotihuacan is located about 30 miles, 50 kilometers, northeast of Mexico City, the 1,800-year entrance to the tunnel under the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, the third largest pyramid in Teotihuacan, was first discovered in 2003, and since then a large project has been launched with human researchers and remote-controlled robots. Archaeologists believe that the recent discovery of liquid mercury in an underground tunnel to the Temple of the Plumed Serpent in Teotihuacan, Mexico, could represent a river in the underworld, and that it could lead directly to a more royal tomb. The remains of the Teotihuacan kings have never been found, among the most powerful rulers of the pre-Hispanic world. Such a discovery would be monumental, as it could reveal many mysteries surrounding this ancient civilization. In our curious planet we can find spectacular relics from past eras and constructions that seem to defy the technological capabilities of their time, either because they are too big, too heavy, or too complex. As such, many believe that the ancient builders of the Egyptian pyramids, the Nazca lines and other archaeological sites depended on the help of other worlds. One of these places is Teotihuacan, located northeast of Mexico City. When the Aztecs arrived from the north, they were already in ruins and what they found were huge pyramids that formed the center of the city. And after the Spaniards conquered Mexico, the Aztecs told them that it was the city of the gods and attributed their construction to the mythological deities. Only recently have Mexican archaeologists announced the results of a year-long exploration of the underground tunnel, including the discovery of three chambers and thousands of artifacts, jade statues, remains of jaguars, a box full of carved shells and rubber balls. Recently, researchers have also announced the presence of a large amount of liquid mercury. It is for this reason that some experts in the field claim that Teotihuacan was built by extraterrestrials, the gods to whom the Aztecs refer. The renowned Swiss writer Eric von Däniken, highlighted in his book Cars of the Gods, published in 1968, that the aliens slash gods lived in Teotihuacan even before there was Homo sapiens. And the truth is that, from the air, the design of the city of Teotihuacan mysteriously resembles a computer printed circuit with its two huge processors, which in this case are represented by the pyramid of the sun and the moon. In addition, excavations have shown that Teotihuacan structures have an abnormal amount of mica embedded in them, a fact that raises many questions about their use. But after centuries of unknowns, we could now find all the answers. Mexican archaeologists have confirmed the existence of an underground chamber and a tunnel in the Pyramid of the Moon, and inside could be the remains of extraterrestrial beings. The Mysterious Secret Chamber Archaeologists have discovered a secret tunnel and a hidden camera below the Pyramid of the Moon, originally dedicated to the Toltec rituals of the underworld. They believe that the passage to the underworld could contain unexplained deformed skulls and other strange objects. The discovery of the camera and tunnel is the result of an initial study that used electrical resistivity around the Pyramid of the Moon in June 2017. Gomez speculated that the mercury could be a sign that his team is close to discovering the first real tomb that has been found in Teotihuacan after decades of excavation, and centuries of mystery surrounding the leadership of the cryptic but well-preserved city. Sign up to receive the lab notes. The Guardian's weekly science update read more the mercury may have symbolized an underground river or lake, Gomez postulated, an idea that resonated with Annabeth Hedrick, a professor at the University of Denver and author of works on Teotihuacan and Mesoamerican art. The bright, reflective qualities of liquid mercury may have resembled an underground river, not unlike the river Styx, said Hedrick if only because it is the entrance to the supernatural world and the entrance to the underworld. The mirrors were considered a way of looking at the supernatural world, they were a way of guessing what could happen in the future, he said. It could be a kind of river, although it's quite spectacular. Joyce said archaeologists know that the scintillation fascinated ancient people in general, and that liquid mercury might have been considered something magical, there for ritual or symbolic purposes. 
Hedrick said Mercury was not the only object of fascination, a lot ritual objects were made reflective with mica, a sparkling mineral probably imported to the region. Its existence has been confirmed thanks to a joint prospecting of the National Institute of Anthropology and History of Mexico, INA, and the Institute of Geophysics of the National University Autónoma de Mexico, UNAM, Veronica Ortega, director of the Integral Conservation Project of the Plaza de la Luna, which is the central square of the Mexican archaeological complex, said the research focuses on a ritual space linked to the underworld. In the explorations carried out at the end of the 80s of the last century, through tunnels excavated in the body of the pyramid, the archaeologists Ruben Cabrera and Saburo Sugiyama found skeletons of individuals with cranial deformation, and several objects of greenstone, collars, anthropomorphic figures made with mosaics, so it is not difficult to think that something similar could be found in the subset, explained Ortega. According to the information provided by Mail Online, the newly discovered tunnel is at a depth of 8 meters. The tunnel is located south of the Plaza de la Luna, but there is probably another entrance on the east side, he added. Ortega Dr. Ortega said that the investigation of the cavity, which is believed to have been used as a camera, will allow them to determine the connections that this ancient metropolis had with other regions of Mesoamerica, where many civilizations shared a similar culture. Experts believe that the tunnels could be associated with sacred flows of water and the underworld. Electrical resistivity methods are a form of geophysical studies that help create an image of the subsoil. These methods use the difference in electrical potential to identify the subsoil material. The mysterious chamber is 8 meters below the pyramid and is 15 meters in diameter. The tunnel is located south of the Plaza de la Luna and experts believe there could be another entrance to the east. In an investigation carried out in the late 1980s, archaeologists Ruben Cabrera and Saburo Sugiyama discovered skeletons with cranial deformations along with greenstone objects. The 2017 studies gave an indication of the possible existence of a camera and archaeologists have confirmed the existence of the camera. The finding confirms that Teotihuacan reproduced the same pattern of tunnels associated with its large monuments, whose function had to be emulation of the underworld, Dr. Ortega said last year. The computerized tomographers were made last June by a team of experts led by Denise Argot Espino, from the Archaeological Studies Directorate of INA. This new discovery has provoked all kinds of reactions in the conspiracy community. They assure that inside the mysterious chamber they are, without a doubt, the remains of extraterrestrial beings, and the archaeologists already know it. In addition, the mysterious skeletons of individuals with cranial deformation could challenge the current perspective of the evolutionary tree of humanity. And they are based primarily on the elongated skulls of the Perica culture, Peru, which are 25% larger and 60% heavier than normal humans skulls, so it is completely impossible to be modified by the union of the head. They are also structurally different and have only one parietal plate, unlike the two normally found in human skulls. And to this we must add the fact that many Teotihuacan structures show damage caused by a large fire that originated in one place. The theory is that it was the result of an explosion, possibly due to the misuse of energy. In addition, the explosion could be linked to an electromagnetic power plant or a spacecraft. But we will have to wait for archaeologists to enter the secret chamber, although the most possible thing is that, as always, they end up hiding a discovery that could change the history of humanity. We are facing the definitive evidence that extraterrestrial civilizations were the cause. Impellers of humanity. The research group continues digging in the tunnel under the pyramid, with protective equipment to protect against the dangers of exposure to mercury. For now, archaeologists and anthropologists continue digging and deducting. Gomez says he expects the digging of the cameras to be completed in October, and Hedrick said archaeologists are looking at the city from new angles. Some try to decipher the paintings and hieroglyphics of the city, 
others try to analyze what can be a writing system without verbs or syntax. Then there are the thousands of artifacts, some unprecedented and strange, that Gomez and his colleagues are disintegrating from below. Of the pyramid. It's a mystery, said Hedrick.